we have seen every phase of our model we have implemented our model from uh, the starting to the end we have also evaluated our model and got a very good accuracy of 91 percent now the next thing is that this is an optional video and if you want to skip it it's just fine in this video we are going to look into how you can predict it out for a single customer that is for a single uh, person if he is going to buy or not if you are an engineer if you are an analyst you are someone who wants to look into a single person just by giving his uh, age and salary and uh, how much uh, he is a man or woman then it will be just easier for you to get if he is going to buy it or not so for that let's start by taking the input from the user so we have three variables mail age and estimated salary estimated salary now what i'm going to do is i'm going to map it map the function int so that every value that we are going uh, giving it is an integer input uh, we are going to take the input from the user and i'm going to strip it first so that the white spaces are gone in the front and the back and then i'm going to split it. so strip and yes i give an extra value strip and then i'm going to split okay so this looks good now let's check it out if everything is working just fine or not so i'm going to give um he, yes he's a male and he's of age 21 and mm, let's keep a random four five four two three okay and let's check the value of male if we are getting okay we are getting the same value in male age and his estimated salary okay there's a typo estimated salary okay so yeah everything is working just fine the first line of the code just works now we are going to check if he's a male or not if he's a male so let's say if male is equal to equal to one then what i'm going to do is i'm going to predict a man with age this and salary okay uh, just to print it out if he's a male or female so i'm going to use f string let's keep a man with age is equal to age age and salary is equal to estimated salary estimated salary mm, this looks just fine let's close it yes everything is uh, working just fine we have estimated salary we have this i'm going to take the same thing paste it out just to increase the readability paste it and what i'm going to do is i'm going to change this to an woman okay so why printed out uh, the age and estimated salary now i'm going to do prediction so prediction is the value the, from the value what i'm getting so int i already have the classifier uh, classifier model okay so whatever value i get from it it will be obviously int but just for an extra check classify dot predict okay and remember we had to transform the values so transform let's see dot transform and then inside of this we are going to pass in our values so main age and estimated salary so we are passing a list inside of this estimated salary so this looks just fine okay we have got out the prediction if prediction is equal to one so equal to equal to one we will be getting a print message user will buy the product okay this looks fine now else he is gonna skip okay. 
now let's give the same thing 121 and uh, 4 5 2 4 5 maybe okay so uh, probably this man was going to skip as he is of the age 21 and we have already seen from the insights from the EDA part that lower men with age less than 1 well, less than 20 less than 40 are not going to buy it out now let's check he's a male and let's say he's of the age 45 and he's having a salary of 50,000 so the person will buy the product as we have already seen in the EDA part that a man with a higher age and a higher salary that is age more than 40 will obviously most most of the time will buy the product so that's it for this section you have learned about logistic regression you have learned a lot of uh, practical knowledge about logistic regression along with the theoretical aspect of it that's it for this video in the next video we are going to start with some new algorithms thank you very much